off against Simon Osegus of Germany, representing Austria. There and Lene completes the lineup. We said that Franziska van Amzik, the swimmer there, who is the fastest qualifier, would have a tremendous task in winning the 100 fly, and she's up against it here. There are 75 hundredths of a second covers all of these ladies from their heat swim. David, any quick thoughts? Well, it's going to be a great race. The only thing that I've got to say is uh, Plowinski's got a tough one because Van Amstig is going to be able to see her coming down the last 10 meters because she'll be breathing to her left-hand side. But I think Plowinski might just get it. Well, we thought for once the... Swimmers don't like this, especially on the 50. They go again, Drew. There's your lineup. Remember, lane four, fastest in the center of the pool there, the German cap of Franziska Van Amdek. And she has tremendous distance behind her. Can she come down to 50 freestyle? All in a line at five to 10 meters. And already breaking in lane three, Angela Postma, the 22-year-old from the Netherlands. And then Van Amdek's coming through. Is she going to do it? The Swede Olsen's there as well. The pink hat of Meshirakova. It's lane number four. Franziska Van Amzik taking another gold medal with a challenge from the Swede. But is Van Amzik on the touch? 25-53, just outside the 25-5 of the championship. Second place looks as if it went to Olsen, the Swede. They'll be delighted. And Inge de Brown at last, perhaps, for Netherlands coming through in third place. And a bronze medal with 25-86. But that was swift swimming. And I can pick him because uh, Plowinski came in eighth. So don't listen to me when uh, you're going to put some money on a swimmer. But what a swim and what a finish that was by that 15-year-old uh, German swimmer Van Amstig. Surprised me there, I thought, uh, well, you know, the last 10 meters, I thought Olofsson had it. And uh, when we hopefully get that overhead shot, we might be able to see how close it was. But, you know, in this... Uh, World is swimming, when you get down to one length sprint, you've got to be tough at the finish, you've got to get in there. And she's only 15 years of age, but my goodness, uh, finishing. Great start again uh, by Olofsson in lane number six. She is very good off the block, and uh, she was the girl that probably uh, was the cause of the false start. But uh, you can see there how quick she is. So it's uh, three over from the left hand, that's uh, Van Armsick, and then two over from the right hand lane, that's uh, Olofsson. So in this stage of the race, there's really nothing in it. I thought the Swede might just be showing here, but Van Armsick coming through now, she's got the longer reach, and definitely she's gonna get the touch at this stage, but there really isn't much in it. Stroke for stroke, Van Armsick doesn't take another stroke, but uh, Linda Olofsson certainly did. There's a start. And Plowinski really out of sorts, straight away from the start, didn't explode off the blocks. One of the last to show, that's Plowinski, two up from the bottom of the picture. But already there, with uh, 15 meters gone, right in the middle of the shot, it's Van Alsink, swimming with discipline, not taking too many breaths. Uh, these sprinters should only be looking to take about uh, four or five breaths the whole way down this 50 meters. So the race is really on between the black cap in the middle and the yellow cap uh, three down from the top of your picture. And that uh, you saw uh, Linda Olsen take a look there, breathed over to see where Van Amstig was. That's the last five meters now, no breath there at all from Van Amstig. What a finish, that's discipline swimming. And uh, that's why she's the best in the world as a result there. Van Amstig 25-5-3. Olsen 25-6-7, so very close, and third, as Drew says, Inge de Bruyne, nice to see her finally picking up a medal. From the referee to enter the water. There's no uh, delay allowed in the water. You have to get in, turn very quickly within about five meters of the pool, and assume the ready position. There, after a tough gold medal in 200 fly, not tough in terms of competition, just in sheer effort and energy distribution. Egazegi, blue hat, blue fingernails, and going for our fourth individual gold medal here in Sheffield. That's some performance. I don't think anyone will touch her in this race. She could win it by at, uh, four or five meters. Very rarely do we see the false start in the back stroke, although we've had one at the championships. But they are just easing into good start. There's a very positive commitment from lane seven, Shivanovskaya. We think that's where the main challenge will come, but it's whether Shivanovskaya has the background to challenge Egozegi.
Well, in the 100 meters backstroke, she was ever so strong. She's only 15 years of age, so we haven't seen her uh, too often in the 200 meters backstroke. So maybe I should change that four or five meters that Egesegi is going to win by, because leading up the first 50 is Shivana Sky from Russia. A very fast time, really setting the pace here, 30.45. So she's under Egesegi's world record pace. So she could be a lady in the future to challenge Egesegi. Egesegi, there she is in shot, just getting into the rhythm of the stroke. She will be aware of a challenge coming from lane number seven from Shivanovskaya. But uh, it's the second hundred that's going to really count. And this young 15-year-old from Russia, well, she certainly has committed herself. And she's going to give Egesegi a scare at the hundred because she's there and thereabout. Egazegi just takes it on the roll over in the sun, 103.33. It's outside World Record play. Face, it's about gold and silver. And Egazegi now just moves very strongly in, in that last 25 meters off the 100 into the purpose. But going well in third place is Lorenzo Vigarani from Italy. Italy looking maybe for a bronze medal here off this. And there'll be a challenge from Kathleen Stoltz, the young 15-year-old from Germany. But there it's Egazegi. Watch this. Smoothly into that rollover turn. Good drive, couple of fly kicks there to take it up to the surface, and already now three or four meters into the lead. Now they say swimmers, when they get tired, they've got a monkey on her back, but I think Shivan Sky's got a whole zoo on her back because she has certainly dropped away. So Egesegi is going to win this quite easily. In second position, it's the Italian Vigarani Lane 5. Kathy Oshie from Great Britain, well, she's in fifth. And the bronze medal might just be taken by Schivenskaya, but Stolte from Germany might get it too. But no doubt about who's going to get the gold. Egesegi finishes easily. The silver, who's going to get the silver? It's the Italian, we think, Vigarani. And Schivenskaya drew what a tremendous first hundred, but faded so much in the second part of the race. Well, we spotted it well. Did she have the endurance? She's a tremendous sprinter. Did so well in the European sprints back in November 92. Short course and sprint, she's good. But maybe not got the background for the 200. Or maybe it's just a 15-year-old at the end of a very busy six days. Because she has swum very, very well in the Russian qualified for takeovers. And once again, Sweden not in a main final because of that. And it's just sad not to see them, but good for Switzerland to get into an A final. Well, first time they've made this in uh, a long time, maybe even in their history. But that's Martin Harris getting the goggles glued firmly to the eyes, eh? And the last thing he wants is for them to slip down to his neck. The worst thing that can happen to a swimmer. So he's got to be competitive. He's got to go for the British record, which he's quite capable of doing. And, of course, he can do on the leadoff. He's got to keep in touch with the Russian team in lane number four. And that's Selkov, who was second in the 100. So what a race we've got in prospect here. So we'll start with the backstroke, and it's on to the breaststroke, and it's the butterfly, and then it's the front crawl. It's a lovely event to finish with because it's a men's relay, and it's... And that's Selkov with the black cap on. He's going for the Russians in lane four. But look uh, to lane two, Lopez Zubero to give Spain a possible lead. And a false start. That's pretty unusual on the backstroke. Again, they're off again and clear away. And uh, Harrison, lane six with a white cap, two down, three down, got a tremendous lead, as did Selkov in four. But look for lane number two, Lopez Zubero to come through at the end of the race. But it's Selkov for the Soviet Union going out very, very hard. Harris is shouting him, so Harris is committing himself. Now they come up to the turn. Let's see who's going to turn first. It looks like Selkov turning first. Harris second, Zubero third. So Martin Harris for Great Britain looks like he's going to give them a very good chance. But Selkov there with a tremendous underwater stick. That's where he gets the power off the start. Ah, and now they're coming back at him. And it's Lopez Zubero winding up there. Closest to us in lane two. It's Lopez Zubero being challenged by Frank Schott. They're all in the lines that comes to 100. It's going to be the electronics to sort this one out. What a great 100 backstroke. And Hungary are in the lead. And Britain going in sixth position. So not a great swim by Harris. 56-3-0. A bit off 
of his British record. So leading now is the team in lane number six. No, lane number five, I should say. It's the team from Hungary with Gutler, the world record holder, really blasting it down this 50 breaststroke. Gillingham is trying to chase him. Gillingham in lane number six. That's Gutler there. In second place, it was Kurenshink for the Russian team. And Gillingham now brings Great Britain into third position. So Gutler with that pink and yellow cap, really going for it now. But Gillingham in lane number six just at the top of your screen, just coming into the shot, there's Gillingham now, he's really holding on, but Gutler's going to give the Hungarian team a lead into the butterfly leg, and this is where the Hungarian team gets a little bit weak, Fibbins is going to go for Britain, Fibbins in second for Britain, Horvath in first for Hungary, and Pankratov in third for the, so the Russian team. And that's it, Pankratov, the winner of that tremendous 200 butterfly the other evening, just watch him haul them back. Fibbins has got to hang on, he knows that he's under pressure on the fly leg, but going well at the moment, it's Peter Horvath in lane five for Hungary, he's first to the wall, Pankratov has taken at least a metre back, Pankratov in lane four with a black hat there, he's coming back in them now, there's Pankratov with a lift to the head against Horvath. Horvath seems to be dying. Fibbins is being dropped. And Pankratov, the Russian team, back in contention. Pankratov has overhauled the whole body of Horvath and Fibbins. And we come to the last changeover into the freestyle with the world record, the European record holder, Popov, going for Russia. And Popov goes in for Russia. Davidov goes in for Hungary. And in for Great Britain, it goes Mark Foster. So Foster's got us from the great race. The question is, can he get Zabados? He's going to really give it a go. He's moving up. Popov is away. He's got a meter clear of the rest of the field. Look how lazy he looks. He looks so calm, so collected. Popov turns for home now. Foster's really doing a great job for Great Britain. He comes out of the turn well, and there's nothing in it between Hungary and Great Britain as they go for silver. Zabados, who's not a great sprinter, is still being challenged by Foster. Popov is away. Russia's going to get this gold medal. It looks now like Zabados is going to swim hard home for Hungary and pick up the silver. Popov gets the gold for Russia. Who gets the silver? It's Hungary. And the bronze goes to Great Britain. So Russia, the clear winners there. Some six seconds faster than they clocked in the heat this morning, but that was to be expected. It's a new championship record just outside the independent states European record. Great Britain's time, 3.41. That's a new British record. So the British team swimming extremely well, picking up a bronze and a new British record. And the Hungarians, a little bit of a surprise. They wear six in this event at the Olympic Games, but they pick up a silver. Tremendous racing, tremendous relay work there. All four having to do their different jobs. And I suppose it's a nice justice for Fibbins and Foster. Disqualified in the 50 freestyle last night. They must have been really disappointed and angry. And it's good to see they've turned the anger into a positive swim. Fibbins held on to that butterfly. And Foster really did a tremendous job on that 100 freestyle. For 60 metres, he challenged the silver medal. And then Zabados, with that background, just managed to draw away. Foster just beginning to do some uh, distance work. And there, the backstroke leading off that excellent relay. Harris scared me a little bit in the backstroke, didn't really uh, get into the rhythm of it. He did commit himself up the 50, just seemed to lose it a bit. But this is the last 50 as uh, Popov takes it away for the Soviet Union. Well, there wasn't really much doubt that uh, they were going to win the goal. But look how close it was with about 35 metres to go. Foster still in contention. He's way over in the right-hand lane. But there now goes uh, Sabados for Hungary, beginning to push on the pressure. Now, Foster, the sprinter, the man that's only really used to swimming uh, 50 metres front crawl. Didn't quite have it, but a great race uh, from Foster. As Drew said, turning that anger into a positive swim. He's holding on there now. The challenge is still coming from uh, the Germans who are out of shot. Popov goes through. Goal for Russia. Silver there for Hungary. And a well-deserved swim by Foster to earn the British team the bronze medal. Now, I talked to the coaches the other day, and I thought Britain had an outside chance 
of uh, the goal, but then if you looked at the might of the Russian team, they put it together so well. Well, they were clear favourites. And then it was really between us, Hungary, France and Germany who was going to pick up the silver or the bronze. But Hungary did it there. You know, you can't take anything away from them. And the Brits being really pushed by the home crowd here. And there we can confirm the result. Goal going to Russia. Commonwealth Championship record, I should say. A great swim. Hungary picking up the silver. And Great Britain picking up the bronze medal. So, Drew, just a... a because Dani was challenged, but here they are now trapping a great champion. And second, the man that shouldn't be too disappointed in winning this silver medal. What a race he gave. He really challenged Dani the whole way. On the butterfly he was leading, on the backstroke, Dani took the lead. He pushed Dani on the breaststroke where we expected to see Dani extend the lead. And he was still there on the front crawl, and he was still there on the last five metres. And Wilder, well, he really uh, did a good race too. Really pushed the two guys on the breaststroke, came through on the breaststroke, but didn't have much left on the front crawl and finished two and a half seconds off the front man. But picks up that bronze and he'll be happy with that. Uh, Thomas Darney, who is uh, being presented as all winners here, or all medalists are with uh, pair of Sheffield shield scissors. Steel, I should say, not shield. And uh, it's like uh, he's been clipping a few hairs off uh, for this race. So well done, Tamasani, on your fourth gold medal from the European Championship since 1985. Danny taking the applause of the crowd. We're going to have a short commercial.